Welcome back, everyone, to more Oblivion. So, in the last video, when we left off, we did uh, go into the main Imperial City. This bitch is fucking creeping. Don't be looking at me like that, weirdo. Uh, hey! I am fucking trying to read some books up in here. Ow! I'm gonna weld the door shut. Alright, anyways. She's creeping on me. I just came up here to read this book called Mid-Year. This is going to increase our heavy armor skill. I went ahead and went back to Coral so we could pick up some of the skill books. Going to try to find as many of them as we can. You might want to go ahead and skip ahead. We are definitely going to read all the skill books that increase our abilities. And this is a bit of a long one. So I do apologize if you're not here for the dialogue. If you are, enjoy the story. This is The Last Year of the First Era by Carlo Vac Townway. Second mid-year 2920 Balmora Morrowind. The Imperial, Imperial Army is gathered to the south, said Cassier. They are a two weeks march from Ad Luval and Lake Coronati, heavily armored. Vivek nodded. Ad Luval and its sister city on the other side of the lake, Ad Malak, were strategically important fortresses. He had been expecting a move against them for some time. His captain pulled down a map of the southwestern morrowind from the wall and smoothed it out, fighting a gentle summer sea breeze wafting in from the open window. They were heavily armored, you say, asked the captain. Yes, sir, said Cassier. They were camped out near Bethel Grey in the heartland, and I saw nothing but ebony dwarven and daedric armor, fine weaponry, and siege equipment. How about the spellcasters and boats, asked Vivek. A horde of battle mages, replied Cassier, but no boats. As heavily armored as they are, it'll take them at least two weeks, like you said, to get from Bethel Grey to Lake Coronati. Vivek studied the map carefully. They'd be dragged down in the bogs if, then, if they then, then tried to circle around to Ald Marak from the north. So they must be planning to cross the straits here and take Ald Luval. Then they'd proceed around the lake to the east and take Ald Marak from the south. They'll be vulnerable along the straits, said the captain. Provided we st strike when they are more than halfway across and can't retreat back to the heartland. Your intelligence was once again served us well, said Vivek, smiling to Cassier. We will beat back the Imperial aggressors yet again. Three mid-year, 2920. Will you be returning back this way after your victory, asked Lord Bethel? Prince Julek barely paid the man any attention. He was focusing on the army packing his camp. It was a cool morning in the forest, but there were no clouds, all the makings of a hot afternoon march, particularly in such heavy armor. If we return shortly, it will be because of defeat, said the prince. He could see down in the meadow, the potentate Versidu, Shai, paying its lordship steward for the use of the village's food, wine, and horse. An army was an expensive thing for Sirtis. My prince, said Lord Bethel with concern, is your army beginning a march due east? That will just lead you to the shores of Lake Coronati. You want to go southeast to get to the straits. You just make certain your merchants get their share of our gold, said the prince with a grin. Let me worry about my army's direction. 16 mid-year, 2920. Vivek stared across the blue expanse of the lake, seeing his reflection and the reflection of his army in the cool blue waters. What he did not see was the Imperial Army's reflection. They must have reached the straits by now, barring any mishaps in the forest. Tall, feather-thin lake trees blocked much of this view of the straits, but an army, particularly one clan in slow-moving heavy armor, could not move invisibly, silently. Let me see the map again, he called to his captain. Is there no other way they could approach? We have sentries posted in the swamps to the north in case they're fool enough to go there and be bogged under, said the captain. We would at least hear about it, but there's no other way across the lake except through the straits. Vivek looked down again at his reflection, which seemed to be distorting his image, mocking him. Then he looked back on the map. Spy, said Vivek, calling Cassie over. When you said the army had a horde of battle mages, what made you certain they were battle mages? They were wearing gray robes with mystical insignias on them, explained Cassie. I figured they were mages, and why else would such a vast number travel with an army? They couldn't have all been healer. healers. You fool, roared Vivek. They're mystics schooled in the art of alteration. They've cast a spell of water breathing on the entire army. Vivek ran to a new vantage point, where he could see the north. Across the lake, though it was but a small shadow on the horizon, they could see gouts of flame from the assault on Ald Marak. 
Vivek bellowed with fury, and his captain got to work at once, redirecting the army to circle the lake and defend the castle. Return to Dewin! Dewinen, said Vivek flatly to Cassier before he rode off to join the battle. Your services are no longer needed nor wanted. It was already too late when the Morrowind army neared Ald Marak. It had been taken by the Imperial army. 19 mid-year 2920. The Potente arrived in the Imperial city amid great fanfare. The streets lined with men and women cheering him as a symbol of taking of Ald Marak. Truth be told, a greater number would have turned out had the prince returned and the Versidu Shai knew it. Still, it pleased him to no end. Never before had the citizens of Tamriel cheered the arrival of the Akaviri into their land. The Emperor Raymond III greeted him with a warm embrace and then tore into the letter he had brought from the prince. I don't understand, he said at last, still joyous but equally confused. You went under the lake. Al Marak is a very well-fortified fortress, explained the potentate. As I might add, the army of Morwen has rediscovered now that they are on the outside. To take it, we had to attack by surprise and with our soldiery in the sturdiest of armor. By casting the spell that allowed us to breathe underwater, we were able to travel faster than Vivek would have guessed. The weight of the armor made less by the aquatic surroundings, an attack from the waterbound west side of the fortress where their defenses were at their weakest. Brilliant, the emperor crowed. You are a wondrous ta tacitician, Versidu Shai. If your fathers had been as good at this as you are, Tamriel would have would be Akaviri domain. The potentate had not planned to take credit for Prince Julek's design, but on the emperor's reference to his people's fiasco, the invasion, 216 years ago, he made up his mind. He smiled modestly and soaked up the praise. 21 mid-year, 2920, Aldmaric Morwin. Severian Korok slithered to the wall and watched through the arrow slit, the Morrowind army retreating back to the forest land between the swamps and the castle grounds. It seemed like the idea opportunity seemed like the idea opportunity maybe ideal opportunity to strike. Perhaps the forest could be burned and the army within them. Perhaps with Vivek in their enemies' hands, the army would allow them possession of Al Luval as well. He suggested these ideas to the prince. What you seem to be forgetting, laughed Prince Julek, is that I gave my word that no harm to the army or to their commanders during the truce negotiations. Do you not have honor during warfare on Akavir? My prince, I was born here in Tamriel. I have never been to my people's home, replied the snake man. But even so, your ways are strange to me. You expected no quarter, and I gave you none when we fought in the Imperial Arena five months ago. That was a game, replied the prince before nodding to his steward to let the Dunmere battle chief in. Julek had never seen Vivek before, but he had heard he was a living god. What came before him was but a man, a powerfully built man, handsome with an intelligent face, but a man nonetheless. The prince was pleased. A man he could speak with, but not a god. Greetings, my worthy adversary, said Vivek. We seem to be at an impasse. Not necessarily, said the prince. You don't want to give us more wind, and I can't fault you for that. But I must have your coastline to protect the empire from overseas aggressions, and certain key strategic border castles, such as this one, as well as Ad Umbiel, Talarun, Ad Lambasi, and Tal Mothirivira. And in return, asked Vivek. In return, laughed Severian Korak. You forget, we are the victors here, not you. In return, said Prince Julek carefully, there will be no imperial tax on Morrowind unless in return to an attack by you. You will be protected from invaders by the Imperial Navy, and your land may expand by taking certain estates in Black Marsh, whichever you choose, provided they are not needed by the Empire. A reasonable offer, said Vivek after a pause. You must forgive me, I am unused to Sarodils who offer something in return for what they take. May I have a few days to decide? We will meet again in a week's time, said the prince, smiling. In the meantime, if your army provokes no attacks on mine, we are at peace. Vivek left the prince's chambers, feeling that Al Alexia was right. The war wasn't at an end. This prince would make an excellent emperor. The year has continued in sun's height. All right, well, thanks for sticking with me on that 20-page mini novel. But we did get the heavy armor. Bitch, I read your book. Watch out, Jesus. Just deal with it. All right, let's find some more books here at Coral. I don't want to uh, miss any. All right, next book we're going to look for. And some of these I might have already had. I don't know.
there's going to be a lot of reading in this episode because I just I'm going to get these ability books out of the way, and that's all there is to it. Let's hear it. Hi there. What's new with you? I saw a mud crab a couple of days ago. Ugly. Right. Well met. Belena Danton just hasn't been the same since her eldest son died. Still, she does a good job of running the Fighters Guild. Good to know. We're all talking about the Emperor's murder. We have no Emperor and no heir. That's never happened before. I suppose we should all be worried. I just don't think about it. The Elder Council will take care of things, sooner or later. <clears throat> heard any news from the other provinces? I have heard things are bad in Vardenfell. The Telvanni do their best to close the gates, but it is to no avail. This is most disturbing. We can only hope this madness is over soon. Take care. All right. Hi there. Hey, what's up, Peckerneck? All right, this is the other book we want to check out. This is going to increase our alchemy. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, let's... Can I pick this one up? We might have to read this later. I don't want the whole book. Okay. There were some goblins around here recently. A game at dinner. It sounds like a good book. All right, we'll, we'll pick up a game at dinner. Goodbye. We still need to read it. I'm going to put a little R next to it if we still need to read it. How goes it? Tekesis. Greetings, citizen. Is there something I can do for you? Are you perhaps interested in joining the Mages Guild? Why not? Let's join all the guilds. I'm sorry, but I don't think so. The guild doesn't accept wanted criminals. Get rid of that bounty on your head, and perhaps I'll reconsider. What? When did I get a bounty on my head? What the fuck did I do? How do, how do I even know I have a bounty on my head? Is it because I stole the book? Maybe? I'm sorry, but I don't think so. Okay, maybe not. Then I'm gonna fucking take the book. You. He didn't see nothing. Uh, I had no idea. I had a bounty on my head. Don't you have to get caught stealing? Wouldn't I have been arrested? There. Talk to this guard here. Stop right there, Could What I do? Nobody breaks the law on my watch. I'm confiscating your stolen goods. Now Here's the procedure. We go to the castle. First we search you, confiscate any stolen goods. Then you pay your fine, and we release you. Okay, I don't... I mean, I know I stole the... I, sn I know I stole the, the book, but... Am I good now? I guess this will be interesting to see in the video. Good to see. You. What can I do for you? Uh, I'm trying to pay my fine. Is is Thank we you. we good? Uh, items. 
Okay, hold on, let me reload. How do I know what's stolen? I never got busted with any stolen goods. I don't I don't understand. Well, it'd be red, right? I must have accidentally taken something. Like a fucking toothpick. No idea. Goodbye. Yeah, I don't know. It's supposed to have a red hand on it, and nothing in my inventory has a red hand. Unless I'm completely blind here. So I'm not sure what they're going to confiscate, but I'll, I'll leave this book here. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Athragar. Farewell. Trying to figure out what I stole. Fresh game. How goes it? Stop right there. Here's the procedure. All right. Anyways. Very strange. I need to be careful. I'm not trying to fuck up quest. Walking his dogs today and yesterday. Greetings. Well then, it's no small matter. Membership in the guild is quite an honor, but also a responsibility. Do you wish to join the guild? Yes. Very well. You are now an associate of the Mage's Guild. The full guild hall is now available for your use. You'll need a recommendation from each local guild hall in order to advance further. Until then, the Arcane University will be closed to you. Welcome to the guild, and good luck to you. All right. Buff up my destruction and... Healing spells, please. The Arcane University is the seat of the Mage's Guild in Cyrodiil. Located in the Imperial City, it houses the leaders of our guild. It's good that you've joined one of our local organizations. It helps you make the right connections. I want to join all the guilds. We're all better off now that necromancy has been banned from the guild. It's just safer that way. I'm afraid I can't just write one out of hand. That would be against protocols, you see. If perhaps you can clear up a small matter involving Irana, you can prove your loyalty to the guild and earn my recommendation. Oh, okay. What you need me to do? What you need old Trogster to do here, baby? She and I have an unpleasant history. She does not care for guild regulations and errantly believes I am misusing my powers. I have seen that she is in town. Though she has not approached me, I know she wants something. I would like you to find out what it is. 
determine what she's after and how we may be rid of her. I do not want her here spreading her lies. Half of the Council of Mages resigned when Traven took over the position of Archmage. Make haste. I wish to be rid of Irana as soon as possible. All right, calm your titties, lizard dick. Hello. Hey. Where is Irana? Yes. How delightful. Welcome. All right, what can I steal here? Excuse me, my name is Angalmo. Can I help you? Uh, your face is fucked up. I passed her the other day. You wouldn't believe the look she gave me. Whatever happened, she's taking it out on the whole guild. Hmm. Okay, I'm stumped. If I had more time, I'd buy that off of you and bring it to Cinderian in Skingrad. He's the expert on strange plants. Perhaps you should take it to him. If any other alchemist can help you, he certainly can. All right, need to go to Skingrad, eh? If you need training, Athrogar has a reputation for being very good with alteration. You might consider speaking to him about it. Things in the guild have been different since Traven was named Archmage. They're more structured, but everyone seems tense. You too. Hello, I am Alberic Litter of the Mages Guild. I am pleased to make your acquaintance. She's nothing but trouble. She went to the university long ago, but was expelled from the guild. Caused all kinds of trouble while she was there. I think Tikius was the one who finally blew the whistle on her. That'd be just like him too, always playing by the rules. Not only has necromancy been banned from practice in the Mages Guild, but the guild won't deal with anyone who openly uses it. If you're skilled enough, Athragar has a rather powerful frost spell for sale. Very effective, but dangerous to the inexperienced. Goodbye. Got some new books in stock. Ah, uh, how new books? Who has the money to afford do? all those? Here's this bitch. I know I don't. Under the noses of the Imperial Guard, it's a disgrace. I just don't think about it. The Elder Council will take care of things. Greetings, Noid. Really? Good night. Yeah, maybe shut up so I can talk to this chick. Going on with you? Ah, yes. You are a guild mage, are you not? Yet different from the others. Yes, yes, this is good. There's a small matter with which you may be able to assist. It's nothing worth involving your guild in, I assure you. Best if kept just between us, yes? So, what say you? I'm interested. Excellent. It's a simple task, really. All you need to do is fetch a book for me. The book is entitled Fingers of the Mountain. It is of no use to you. You won't be able to read it. I, however, can and would very much like to. You'll find it at an old ruin called Cloud Top. It's north of Coral, up in the mountains. I'm afraid I don't have an exact location. Return it to me immediately when you have it. Make no mention of it to Tikius or anyone else in your guild. 
I will make it well worth your effort. I ran into some goblins in the woods not long ago. All right, let's 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 break away from reading books and talking to people and get something done here. That looks cloud toppy. Might have to head over to the Mages Guild and see if they're accepting new members. Indeed, a fine organization. Yeah. I guess we'll hoof it without horse hooves. Fuck is that thing? Oh, we got a wild ass pig. He is mad. Come on, piggy. Skill up again, baby. Oh, that's an imp. Okay. I'm not a uh, stealth or anything here. I'm just here to slay shit. Who's coming to fuck with me? Come on, dirty wolf. Holy shit! I'm just winging it, folks. No idea if I'm going the right way. She said up the mountain. So up the mountain we go. Hoping Cloudtop pops up soon. 
We got us some imp here. Another pissed off wolf. You found Cloud Top. All right. Now what? Fingers of the Mountain Book, we got it. I'm gonna take a gander at it, even though she says we can't read it. I believe her. Can't look at it, can't do shit, eh? All right. Well, we walked up here, I guess it's okay. It's safe to warp back now that we have the the checkpoint or the uh, the waypoint hello oh hello i'm going to take the book back to the mages guild though look at the muscles on you thank you baby let a boycott of imperial goods to the land I don't know where Lizard Lips is at. It's probably in bed. Potion of willpower. I can take these. Everything in the Mage's Guild is for the taking. Question are, is any of these soul gems good for me? Can I do shit with them? I think we're going to have to wait around here. So apparently we can give the book back to uh, Irana. And eventually, after she uses it, she gives us a level 5 shock spell or some kind of shock spell. But uh, reading into it further, it seems like it's only worth doing if you do this quest at level 5 or before. Because 
of the way the, the spells are created, it will end up being too powerful and the mana usage for it is, I guess, ridiculous. Uh, so in that case, we're going to get more fame points and we'll get our recommendation for returning it directly to the Mage Guild here. To Malarius Florius, man, this poor guy's got to sleep in the basement. He's got he's got pretty nice fucking clothes for the janitor though, and he's got a ripe ass pumpkin. Magic root. I want that for some reason. hear any shit about stealing. Wait, I can probably, can I rest here? That's the question. Do they got a Betty buy for me? They should. I can't sleep next to you, dude. I won't touch. Maybe we go to the end for a little bit. I like to role play. I don't like to just go to sleep in the streets and just wait there. It sounds fucking boring. I'm trying to bore Trog to death. Hey! Do I gotta. I got a permanent room somewhere. It ain't here. <laughs> Is anyone up? What kind of establishment is this? I need a room, bitch. Wake up. Wake up, kitty tits. What do you want? What the fuck do you think I want? There's one available for the room. Goodbye. I'm trying to get a few hours sleep here. She's going to be pissed when she finds out I gave this book to this guy. Whoa! Go ahead, please. Here's this book, Fingers of the Mountain. Ariana wanted it. What? Not only does it exist, but she knows where it is? Well, this is unacceptable. That book needs to be in the safekeeping of the guild. I trust that as a member of the guild, you would do the right thing and acquire this text before Irana does. Are we clear? Ignore her request. Go to this place she has described and return with the book. This is far more important than any petty squabble. Should you go looking for it, I hope that it would be for the sole purpose well, no shit. You want it or not, Peckerhead? What do you want? Should you go? Uh, I have the book, dude. I Make haste. Come... 
right here. I wish to be rid of their Whoa. I found the book titled Fingers of the Fucking Mountain. I need to deliver it. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. What do you want? You found the book? My trust in you was well placed, it seems. Hand it over, if you please. Ah, yes. This is indeed the correct book. You've not been able to open it, I presume. Then all is well. I don't know. This guy sounds I sus. yourself worthy of the guild, and for that I thank you. You shall have the recommendation you need. Now, I must ensure this book is kept safe. Excuse me. The whole thing is a big shame. She's such a nice young girl. Good day. Yes? What? She was unable to acquire the book, and that shall be enough for me. It would be beneath. All right, well. Uh, guessing that quest is completed. Yeah. Hi. See, we had to get a little something done. Sometimes I grow weary of waiting. Where is my book? I don't like this bitch. I gave the book to Takesis. What? You gave him the book? What were you thinking? And here I thought one of you guild mages might actually have a brain. All right, all right. We can deal with this. You'll have to get it back, that's all. You're in the guild, aren't you? You should be able to walk right in, find it, and take it. And if you can't, then break in. I want that book. Bring it to me once you have it. I'll even still give you the reward I promised, despite your incompetence. Hmm. Now go! Now this is tempting. <laughs> go steal the book. Uh, I'm gonna tell this bitch, No, I won't do that! Is that so? I won't do that! But I would do anything for a love. Did you? Hi. What? Have you seen Glistel? Fuck you, bitch! It's all over, lawbreaker. <laughs> Your spree is at an end. I'll take any stolen goods you have. Then pay. Am I Where are you at, ho? Where are you at, hooker? Oh shit! Ah! Where'd the hooker go? Have you seen I was dreaming. I was dreaming that. Together? Isn't it awful? All right. Anyways, I'm not gonna help her out. What's the news from the other parts of Tamriel? Nothing I'd like to talk about. Good day. All right, let's keep looking for some bookie books. What is it now? That's such bullshit.
God damn it. God damn it! <laughs> We're gonna get it. Fucking shit me, dude. All right, last chance before I stop the camera and do this shit. Yeah, I got it! Alright, this will also increase heavy armor. We'll take that for later. Doesn't count as stealing. Because we are part of the guild. And there should be another book here. I'm not exactly sure where. Zwack shit and all this. Should be a chesticle somewhere. Ah. I don't want to piss off anyone. Hell guard's tail, that's what we want. Heavy armor going up, baby. We're just going to have to have a fucking book session. We haven't had an Oblivion upload in a while, so I didn't really feel like just reading the entire time. We could stick to one book at the end of every video, but I have a feeling there's going to be more books than videos. Uh, but maybe we can get away with doing that with just the skill book. So I'm, I'm taking note of what's been read and what hasn't been read. Let's go to the chapel hall now.
Making that heavy armor worthwhile. Still got to get our luck fixed. Well met. Should be able to do that at the chapel, no? A little bit of pray pray. Chapel of Stindar. Okay, maybe maybe it is this chapel. I've oh. heard that the great houses of Morrowind are up here. So we're uh, obviously trying to catch up and get some other games completed here, but I am going to get back to doing at least an Oblivion video per week here. I had a nice little Staunt of knocking out five or so games that were incomplete, and we're going to keep that rolling, obviously. Do do? But at the same time, I'd like to keep uh, some of the focus on Oblivion and Avernum and other things that we've started recently. How are you? Fantastic. Thanks for us. In a chest. Bro, who lets dogs into the fucking church? Yeah, she's cute. Have powerful wizards. It could be a dangerous situation. Take care. Be seen. That's where we want to go. Breaking and entering, apparently. Love them. Can't a man have a bit of privacy? Get out of here! What are you talking about, dude? Get away with this. Oh shit. I will get away with it. I'll cut you down, boy. Alright, that's the book we want. Hi there. I'm thinking of doing some traveling. Well met. To see the world again. Interesting. What's the news from the other parts of town? I think you should be. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, I'll leave. I'm leaving. See, that's stolen. And this helps our restoration skill, so skill we had to steal it. This is only six pages, so we'll go ahead and close the video with this. Notes of racial philo philogeny, phylogeny, and biology, 7th edition by Council of Healers. After much analysis of living specimens, the Council 
long ago determined that all races of elves and humans may mate with each other and bear fertile offspring. Generally, the offspring bear the racial traits of the mother, though some traces of the father race may also be present. It's less clear whether the Argonians and Khajiit are infertile with both humans and elves, though there have been many reports throughout the eras of children from these unions, as well as stories of unions with Deirdre. There have been no well-documented offspring. Khajiit differ from humans and elves not only with their skeletal and dermal physiology, the fur that covers their bodies, but their metabolism and digestion as well. Argonians, like the Druk, appear to be a semi-aquatic trogliophile form of humans, though it's by no means clear whether the Argonians should be classified with Drug men, myrrh, or, in this author's opinion, certain tree-dwelling lizards in the Black Marsh. The reproductive biology of orcs is at present not well understood, and the same is true of goblins, trolls, harpies, drug, sykes, whatever the fuck that is, imga, various daedra, and many others. Certainly there have been cases of intercourse between these races. Of course, you know, some, there's always a bear fucker. Generally in the nature of rape or magical seduction, but there have been no documented cases of pregnancy. Hopefully uh, YouTube doesn't pick up on me saying the R word. Still, the infertility of these creatures and the civilized hominids has yet to be empirically established or refuted, likely due to the deep cultural differences. Surely any normal Bosmer or Breton impregnated by an orc would keep that shame to herself, and there's no reason to suppose that an orc maiden impregnated by a human would not be likewise ostracized by her society. Regrettably, our oaths as healers keep us from forcing a coupling to satisfy our scientific knowledge. We do know, however, that the Slod of Thras are hermaphrodites in their youth and later reabsorb their reproductive organs once they are old enough to move about on land. It can be safely assumed that they are not infertile with men or men. One might further wonder whether the proper classification of these same races to use the imprecise but useful terms should be made from the assumption of a common heritage and differences between them have arisen from magical experimentation, the manipulations of the so-called earth bones, or from gradual changes from one generation to the next. And well, how do I? No, I can't remember. There we go. I never touched it. I never touched that dirty book. Hi. Hi. I must make a note that we we read it. Okay, maybe I'll fill it in. Yeah, let's fill in both boxes. I'm going to make a new method on my checklist here. So that I know they're red. Mordren Oren's house. All right, we got time for one more book. We won't read it, but we'll go we'll go snatch a latch it. We gotta find his house. There it is. Modern Orin. Hi there. Hi there. Nice fur burgers. Oh fuck, I'm gonna have to break in. Oh, good. Yep, I'm gonna have to break in. Shit. Ah, fuck, here we go again. Alright, good. You only get in trouble if you actually get seen, right? Alright, the book we're looking for is Words and Philosophy. Oh, increases the blade skill. We like that. Oh, we're taking this home. Alright, I don't want to steal too fucking much here. Do the guards know if you automatically have stolen goods on you? Because that seems kind of not realistic. It's not like I'm walking around with a, a big sign on my head that says I have stolen shit. 
Let's see what's up here. What do you need? Okay. So, I must have got popped or busted or someone saw me take something. Because this guy doesn't know. We should definitely try to uh, read the stolen books first so we can get them out of our inventory. But anyways, we will worry about that in the next video, folks. Thanks for watching. Welcome back to some Oblivion. Hope you enjoyed the video. We got a quest done. We got uh, we picked up several skill books, which is nice. So advancing towards conquest. See you soon.